old ladies boot campers. It's uh, I'm filming this on the day after Friday that we had our last boot camp. And notice I'm in uh, short sleeves. It's a beautiful day. So occasionally we're going to catch, eventually, excuse me, we're going to catch one of these days on a Thursday. Uh, but at least last week was better than the fall, than the previous week. So uh, real quick, I want to sum up what we talked about last week uh, and kind of give you a hint of what we're going to work on next week. But if you miss it, what we talked about last week was not only short game strategy, but short game technique. We went over two different types of shot in the short game the low chip, the low runner, and in that shot, the, the key to hitting the shot is hitting with a downward blow on the golf ball. And the best way to do that, or a, a way to do it more consistently, is to set up properly. So when I set up to this shot, the ball is roughly, I'm going to put my feet close together, the ball is roughly anywhere from center of stance to slightly backward, but the big deals are this, my hands are forward and my swing center is forward. Okay? Now all I want to do from this point is move the club back. And the big thing now is I move the club forward. I don't want to use any wrist. I don't want to do this. But I do want to feel like I'm pivoting my body. Okay, and that pivoting of the body keeps the swing center in front of the golf ball, which really helps that the bottom of the arc then, the bottom of my swing is going to be in front of that golf ball. That really allows me to hit down on it consistently well. So again, hands in front, back, pivot the body to the left, very little hand activity will make good consistent strikes on the ball. The other shot we talked about is hitting one a little higher. I don't want to raise up on this golf ball. I don't want to hit the ball in the ascension of the swing. I simply don't want to be as far in front of it. I don't want to hit down on it as much. To accomplish this, one, I'm going to take a little longer swing, widen out the stance, ball in the middle of the stance. Now hands and body are more directly over the ball. I hinge, and where it's similar to the chipping motion is now I'm going to pivot to the left. I'm not going to use a lot of hands. But again, if I use hands, then I'm going to hit the ball in the ascending portion of the arc. I don't want to do that. I'll blade too many shots. Hinge, pivot around the front foot. I'll consistently hit and strike slightly down to the golf ball. But the club's going to have more loft on it. The ball will go high. Reminder as well, the ball always lands on the front of the green. And then what we have to do is determine which shot and which club we're going to use to make the ball land on the front of the green, but then roll the correct distance to the golf ball. Whether you're, The homework this week, whether you're working on your short game or long game, is 75 swings at your house a day. Uh, you can do it simply by, like this. You can work on your chipping. 75 swings a day. Back, pivot left, nice firm, fin firm finish, something like that. But do 75 swings a day either here at your house. doesn't matter to me. We'll see you next Thursday in the boot camp. Thank you.